In this session, I'm going to show you how to add hyperlinks to your iThoughts map. There are three types of hyperlink that we think are most useful and that you might want to use. So we're going to demonstrate those three. Um, so you'll see for th in our map here, under Thursday morning, I've placed a few tasks for us. So we've got a bigger plate meeting in the morning, lucky you. We're going to review next week's schedule, and we're going to plan some activities for Saturday. And hopefully I'll use these three topics to clearly demonstrate the three hyperlinks that we think you'll find most useful. So first and foremost, You'll see here, if you're meeting with Bigger Plate or any client, you might want to add a link to the client's website so that you have instant access to their website and submit more information about them without adding loads of additional content into your map. So to do that, all you need to do is either right-click on the topic where you want to add the hyperlink. So if I right-click here and scroll down to the bottom of this menu, you'll see there is a hyperlink option here. If I then click Edit, it pops open this little window that allows me to input a hyperlink. As a quicker option, if you click on the subtopic you want to add your hyperlink to and simply press Command K, you get the same option. So for the sake of this example, I'm just going to put in the BiggerPlate website here, a bit of a shameless plug, BiggerPlate.com, and if I then press Enter, it has added this hyperlink to the subtopic. So you'll see this little globe symbol appears here, which if I hover over this, the website or the link that you're trying to uh, link to will show up there so you can see what it is. And then if I click on it, I can go straight from my thoughts to the BiggerPlate website with any luck. And there we go, open it pops. Open it pops? Yeah, that's a sentence. So anyway, so if we then go back to our map, if I then wanted to, when we get to, uh, when we got on to reviewing next week's schedule, I might have another document that I want to open up, maybe it's a calendar document, or in this case, I'm going to link it to a file, which is my map dashboard. So it's the dashboard that I use to keep track of my everyday tasks. And in order to do that, I'm going to simply open my finder, and you'll see I've already put it there, ready to go, Barney Dashboard. And all I then need to do is either Command C or simply right click and copy. Or I can just opt to drag it from my finder into the map. So if I drag it off here and hover it over, and then if I release it, you'll see this little cursor appears. Now what that means is that you've linked to a file or another part of the map, which I'll show you in a minute. You'll see here if I hover over it, it's got a long list of uh, basically the source of where your file is. So you can do this with anything. You could link it to a spreadsheet, to a Word document. You simply copy and paste or drag from your finder and drag it into the topic in which you want to put it. So if I then click on this little cursor here, it should open up Barney's dashboard, another map there. Finally, you might want to link to another part of your map. Now for this map that we're using, it's not too much of an issue because it's a fairly clean, concise map. There's not a huge amount of information there. But you can imagine if you had an enormous dashboard map or something that you've got information all over the place and you don't know where it might, you don't want to have to trawl through your map to find where it is, you can easily link to it from another part. So here we go. So we're saying plan Saturday activity. So what I might want to do is link to the Saturday part of our map. So what I'd do is I'd come over to Saturday here. I would right click on Saturday, so the place that you want to link to. I would say copy as, and I would then say copy as link. So that has now added that to my clipboard so that if I now come back over here and say command V, it has copied this link. That means that if I now click on this, you'll see it's, uh, it's giving you the name of the part of the map that you've linked to. If I now click on that, it'll simply take me to that part of the map. As I said, for the sake of this example, it's not really necessary because it's not a very big map, but if you had some huge, huge maps as we often see, it's a really handy way of just quickly being able to go to the parts of your map that you need at any given moment. So there you have it, adding hyperlinks, so adding links to websites, adding links to other files on your computer, and adding links to other parts of your mind map.